All right, today I'm going to show you how I customize my Ubuntu 22.04 desktop. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to take Ubuntu 22.04 from this to this. But before I do, I just want to mention something that I forgot to mention in my Ubuntu 22.04 review. And that is that in the power menu under settings, there's actually a new option to set your power mode. So there's power saver if you want the longest battery life possible. And you've got balanced if you want the standard performance and power usage. And depending on if your computer supports it, you may see a high performance option, which will give you the highest performance out of your hardware that you could possibly get out of it at the expense of power consumption. But without further ado, let's hop right into this video. All right, so this is a fresh install of Ubuntu 22.04 in a virtual machine, and I've done nothing with it yet aside from installing updates and enabling scaling, so you can see what is going on. I know I don't have the best scaling for this virtual machine, but it should work fine. But anyway, the very first thing I do is go into settings and then I go to appearance and then switch to the dark theme and then give that a second to kick in and the reason why I do this is so that way for the few applications that don't support custom theming they'll at least look more in place with the rest of the system and you have to do this first because if you do your customizations first and then apply the dark theme it's gonna reset the theme to that pre-installed theme. And I would actually also change this to blue since that's an accent color on the theme I'm gonna be using. All right, so now the most important step is getting our theme. Now I picked this macOS Catalina theme because I personally like the look of macOS Catalina. Big Sur and the macOS is after that, not so much. But anyway, what we're gonna do is go get the latest version of the file, macOS Catalina Gnome Dark. And I know it hasn't been updated in a while, but it works great on Ubuntu 22.04. But anyway, I've actually already downloaded this file in my virtual machine. I've got it right here in my downloads folder. So what we're gonna do is go open up this file and then click extract. And then we're actually gonna right click and show hidden files. And then we're gonna create a folder called dot themes. Exactly like that, all lowercase. And then we're going to extract it to our new .themes folder. And it says extraction completed successfully. Close out of this. And now we can close out of our file manager. And actually, what we're going to do is go into Ubuntu software. And then we're going to look for an app called Gnome Tweaks. And then Gnome Tweaks is right there. So we're going to go get that. And then we're going to click install. Then punch in our password. All right, and then once the Tweaks app is installed, we're gonna close out of this, and then we're gonna open up the Tweaks app, and then we're gonna go to Appearance, and then under Legacy Applications, which surprisingly actually works with the vast majority of applications, we're gonna select our new macOS Catalina theme. You actually may need to close out of your Tweaks app and reopen it. Bam! There you go. And then while we're at this, I'm gonna go to my window title bars and change the button placement to the left to make it more resemble Mac, and go to the keyboard and mouse settings and change the mouse click emulation to area, since I prefer right clicking over two finger clicking, just a personal preference, and you may actually be used to that if you're coming from Windows. But this is the primary step. Now, I also like to have my icon set resemble Mac OS. This is the OS Catalina themes, or rather icon set. And then we're gonna go to files and then go get the OS Catalina icons. Now I've already got this file downloaded, so let's double click on it. And then I like to grab the OS Catalina Knights. So let's select that, then click extract, and then go back to our home folder, then hit this little plus button and create a folder called dot icons, exactly like that all lowercase, and then extract it to that folder. All right, then once the extraction completed successfully, we can close out of our archive manager and our files, then head back to tweaks, and then go back to appearance, and then under icons, we're gonna apply our OS Catalina Night theme. Bam, there you go. And now we have some Mac looking icons here. Even the Ubuntu files icon changes to a finder icon. And now I like to go get a Mac OS cursor theme, so I'm gonna go to files, and then get the only file here, macOS cursor set.zip. I know it hasn't been updated in a few years, but it still works great on Ubuntu 22.04, but 
Again, I've already got this file downloaded in my virtual machine. I've got it right here. So we're gonna go double click on that and then extract it to our .icons folder. Close out of our archive manager and our files. Open up tweaks, back to appearance, and then change our cursor to our Mac OS cursor set. All right, now we're gonna go open up our terminal, and you may notice that that changed to a Mac OS theme. And then I'm gonna go get a Mac OS looking doc called Plank by running sudo apt install plank and then punch in our password and then here we're going to hit enter and it'll go and install and then at this point we can close out of our terminal and then open up plank and actually totally forgot about this what happened is ubuntu 22.04 actually switched to wayland as its default display server which plank does not support it's actually a pretty easy fix all we got to do is log out and then select our user account and then before logging back in we need to go here to this gear icon and change this to ubuntu on xorg in order to switch back to x.org which we need to do to get our plank dock working oh look at that we actually killed two birds with one stone because now my virtual machine display is scaling properly and you may have noticed that you also have mac icons up here so now let's go back to our applications and then open up plank bam there you go. So now let's go to our startup applications, and then we need to add an entry which will allow Plank to start up automatically. It doesn't really matter what you name this. The most important part is the command, which we're just gonna put Plank here exactly like that, all over case. You don't really need to add a comment or anything. Then click add, and then close. And then to test this, we can log out real quick and log back in again. Ta-da! Our Plank doc starts up automatically. So now that we have our Plank doc working, we don't need this doc anymore. So what we're gonna do is go to Ubuntu software and then search for extensions and it's right there and it should be one from the GNOME project. And by the way, we'll tackle this later. But anyway, we're gonna click install, then punch in our password. All right, and then once that's installed, we're gonna close out of our software and then open up extensions right there. And then we're gonna disable the Ubuntu dock and then it's gone permanently. And then another thing that you may not want, maybe desktop icons. You can disable that entirely if you don't want any desktop icons. However, in my case, I'm gonna go to settings and I turn off show the personal folder in the desktop However, I actually like to show external drives in the desktop and then change my new icons alignment to top left corner because after all, I also like to see items that are in my desktop folder show up on my desktop. But anyway, now we can actually get to theming our Plank dock and I like to use the macOS Catalina theme for Plank dock. You're gonna go down to files and then scroll down to macOS Catalina night 2.z and then download that. Now this file is already downloaded in my virtual machine. I've got it right here in my downloads folder. So we're gonna double click on that, then click extract, and then we're gonna go to our home folder and then dot local share plank themes and extract it there. And then we can close out of our archive manager and our files, go back to our known tweak tool. And then we basically press and hold the control key and right click on the plank dock, then click preferences, and then change our theme to macOS Catalina Night 2. And then I actually like to turn on icon zoom. You can customize this at will. However, I like to leave this at the default. And then under hide dock, I like to change this to window dodge. And then under docklets, I like to add a trash icon to the left, or rather the right, and there you go. And then you can customize this plank dock at will. For example, if you want to remove icons, say the duplicate videos icon, all you have to do is right click on the icon and uncheck keep in dock, or just drag it out of the dock. And then if you want to add an icon to your dock, say your files, all you have to do is right click and then keep in dock, or just drag it to the location on the dock that you want it. Similarly, you can move applications on your dock. Just click and hold on the application and drag it to the point in the dock that you want. And actually about this dock in our activities view, I just like to remove everything from there by right clicking on each icon and clicking remove from favorites and then just have this exclusively for showing applications. Just so that way you don't have to deal with two duplicate docks that are functionally serving the same purpose. And now we're almost done. There's just a couple aesthetics things that I like to tweak. Like the most obvious one is this wallpaper kind of looks out of place with my customizations. 
but we're gonna fix that. So we're gonna head over to wallpapercave.com and then all we have to do is just download this wallpaper. Now I've already got this wallpaper downloaded. I've got it right here in my downloads folder. So all we have to do is just right click on it and click set as wallpaper. There you go. And you'll notice that it'll even apply to your lock screen. And then the second aesthetic thing that I'm gonna tackle is this out of place Ubuntu software application. So basically what this is, the Ubuntu software application that ships with Ubuntu by default nowadays is actually the snap version of a software manager for Linux distributions called GNOME software. Now if you don't know what a snap is, it's basically a containerized packaging format. And the only thing you need to know about that is one disadvantage to containerized packaging formats like Snap is that they are really bad at applying your custom themes. So let's go fix that. So I'm gonna open up my terminal and then type sudo apt install gnome-software, then punch in our password, and then we're gonna hit Y, and then it'll go install the Debian version of GNOME software, which is what most of the packages are in Ubuntu. And those do really well at respecting the theme. For example, this application is a Debian package. And then what we're gonna do to remove that duplicate Ubuntu software application is then we're gonna run sudo snap remove snap dash store, then hit enter, and then it'll go uninstall the pre-installed Ubuntu software application, which we don't need because we got GNOME software. So now once that's finally done, it actually takes a little while. We're gonna go search for software again, and now we just have software, and if we open that up, bam, there you go. Now it looks in place with the rest of our system. All right, so now it looks like we are done. And that's how I customize my Ubuntu desktop on Ubuntu 22.04. So as you can see, yeah, I don't really do nearly as many customizations as I used to. Like, as you can see in this video, I didn't even touch the login screen. If you really want to see how much I used to do to customize my Ubuntu desktop, go check out my how to make Ubuntu look like macOS video, which I made a couple years ago. I'll link it right up here. But anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this video, found it interesting, hit the like button share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment.